Okay, there we go. Chapter 1. The date is sometime in late 2004. It began in the hallway of the high school ag building during break between second and third period with my best friend Chris. I was eagerly waiting for my CAD 1 class with Miss Armstrong to start as Chris and I meandered the hallways discussing the release of Halo 2 and how my pre-order will allow us to finally dual wield two guns at once. It was around this time when something magical happened, like clockwork. In fact, I waited for this moment, the moment when this perfect girl and her friend would seemingly, by happenstance, prance down the hallway into the woodshop bathrooms. But it wasn't by chance. She had ornamental horticulture in the same building every day. And when she missed a day, I grew worried that she had moved or was ill. But there was only one problem. Who was I? I was the shy kid. To my friends, I was more of a leader, in fact. But to the outside world, I was more like a small pistachio covered by a tight, hard shell. There was no way I would ever possess the cannonballs to dare speak to her. And my best friend Chris knew that. He was the same way. That's why we were such great friends. But he was older than me by one grade, and because of that, he was able to offer me something that I will never be able to repay him for. The name of a fellow P.E. classmate, Myra Lopez. I was determined, and I was a planner. There was no challenge that I couldn't plan an approach to. So I sat in my bed one night with a notepad and wrote, I decided to start a journal about Myra in the hope to better our relationship, or soon to be one. I hope I may use this to understand more about the situation in hand. To say, I've been trying to think of a way to introduce myself to you, but I couldn't think of any smooth way, so I'll just say it. Myra, you are a very attractive girl, and I hope that you and I could get to know each other over a movie. Great. I had my plan after extensive pickup line research. It was another day like the others while I planned the perfect time to execute my flawless plan. Through the glass door, I noticed something different that day, though. Myra was slowly making her way to the ag building door on crutches with an injured ankle. Before thinking or planning, I ran to the door from the inside and opened it for her. This was the first direct contact that I had with this perfect girl a memory that will burn its way into my brain forever. Thanks, she said. You're welcome, I said, as she crutched her way down the hall without her friend. Lucky for me, she never turned back to look at what was now a bright, blushing, red-faced boy with big, glazed eyes. Nevertheless, I told my best friend, Chris, I'm going to marry that girl. As a kid chuckling in the hallway about a school crush, this would seem like the least romantic thing imaginable. Little did I know at the time I would be following a bizarre tradition of love. My father said the same thing to his best friend about my mother when they were first meeting. True. For good or bad, my flawless plan never got executed, and it would actually be years later before this mystery girl and I finally connected. Lucky for me, she had the cannon and the balls. This is the story of my life, as told by me. I plan to release at least one chapter every year for the rest of my life. I hope this story brings happiness and joy to the ones I love.